Hey guys, I'm Sean, and you're watching The Analyst. Today, I want to talk about a proposal that could potentially ban facial recognition technology from the city of San Francisco. A proposal introduced by a San Francisco lawmaker named Aaron Peskin could be one of the first pieces of legislation introduced in the U.S. to ban facial recognition software. Referred to as the Stop Secret Surveillance Ordinance, or SSSO, the proposal would require law enforcement agencies to get approval for any new facial recognition tech with the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. It would also require an annual audit of all existing facial recognition software currently implemented by law enforcement agencies. The three-page document, available in the link below, comes at an extremely important time for facial recognition technology. As countries such as China begin implementing this technology in controversial ways like the social credit system currently being tested, the conversation about the relationship between governments and privacy and safety have been irreversibly open particularly now that companies like Apple and Samsung aggressively push to improve this technology. The concerns stem from studies indicating that there might be bias within the software. According to a study conducted by researchers from MIT and the University of Toronto, technology that Amazon has been marketing to law enforcement agencies identified women of color as men 31% of the time. This error stands in stark contrast to the error rate observed in light-skinned women dark-skinned men, and light-skinned men, 7%, 1%, and 0% respectively. Human rights activists, such as Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez, assert that technology can, in fact, mimic the biases of their creators. When you don't address human bias, that bias gets automated. Machines are a reflection of their creators, which means that they are flawed, and we should be mindful of that. It's one good reason why diversity isn't just nice, it's a safeguard against trends like this, she tweeted. A legislative aide to Peskin was quoted by NewYorkPost.com as saying, our intent is to catch people's attention and have a broader conversation as to where the moral precipice is for technology. As cool and beneficial as this technology could possibly be in the future, it's important to open up a conversation about this technology. An error rate of 31% is massive. To be misidentifying nearly one in three people in situations that require delicacy and accuracy would be nothing short of inexcusable. Imagine that you're on your way to work when suddenly you get a notification to your phone. It's the local law enforcement notifying you that you've just been caught jaywalking. The fine is $100 pulled automatically from your bank account. Now imagine that the person they caught jaywalking wasn't even you. In fact, they weren't even the same gender as you. Of course, you would likely be able to contest the charge, but now you've got to make time to handle that whole situation. The fact of the matter is, this isn't even that far from real life. In places like Beijing and Shanghai, this is already something that happens. What do you guys think about this proposal? Do you think you would feel safer if there were facial recognition technology all over the place, or do you think it's going to be a while before this technology is ready? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. Also, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.